Yeah, she just did it. So, so Jagaz mom's doing this as well. She just did a vlog, vlog number two. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out what her story is because uh, <laughs> it's. I, I'm gonna give a minor spoiler, but she talked about it in her video, so I think it's okay. Yeah. Uh, like she's saying, she you choose what character you're going to be. And it's a crazy array of characters. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. cave, from a caveman to, <laughs> to a, princess. a pharaoh, a princess. <laughs> I'm like, what is the relationship? What could this story possibly be between yeah, these characters? It, yes, but is it the same story? Is it is there six different stories with perhaps the same ending or something? Well, that, we don't know. Yeah, that's where that's the impression <laughs> I got was that she's actually building six. Stories. Maybe they're mini maps. I don't know, but yep. six different yep. maps at once. I'm totally. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. I don't use that word a lot. If you know that. It's pretty ambitious, honestly. Yeah. But she's having fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she <laughs> dropped into lava, so she's dying even on peace. Oh, I don't know <laughs> how you do that, honestly. <laughs> Drop into lava. You have yeah. been close three times that I know. Well, but, well, I don't know. Lava just moves so slow, I don't... I don't know how anyone could... And water is fast. Yes, we know. But, spot, uh, spot seven on my hot bar, that's water. Yeah. It, it, we've it, learned a lot. Oh, boy. Yep, I've, <laughs> I've learned a lot. I've been reminded of a lot, for sure. Yeah, See, there, there are things that I know or I've heard of as a map maker, but I don't think about uh so like for example how to make uh how to exactly make colored uh dyed clay had no idea before you well i i kind of knew how but i had never actually done it so i didn't really know how and then um you know when you go when you get into survival and you suddenly realize you need to do it, you're like, <laughs> you don't know exactly, and of course the, the commenters nope. are always ready to tell you yep, exactly, they tell you the, the percent chance of a birch sampling falling from a, yep. from a leaf block, all this stuff, and I'm like, why do I actually want to know that? Some of this stuff I actually kind of want to be a mystery, and the fun might be sort of bumbling around a little bit until you figure it out. Yeah. And then that helps re actually reinforce it. So if someone just tells me something, I may not learn it. But if I have to do it for myself, then I will most likely learn it, you know? Yeah, but we, we have done some of it. I mean, the first time I did hardened clay, I didn't, didn't even know that I, it, that existed first. I just put uh, some of these clay bits together and put it into the furnace, and I got hot clay. Mm. Ooh! And then I colored that, and then I went over to the mesa and found hardened clay. But but this is already done. This has already been in the furnace. So I've done it the hard way first, and then suddenly when I oh. <laughs> drop down at the mesa and got all that hard clay, oh, why bother with going into the ri rivers? Yeah. Unless you need a pot. Yeah, I, I I have found and I have a very good use for all of the pink and red clay that I found where I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. Because I, I thought you could recolor it, Nope. but it seems no, you can't. But now I actually have a really good use for that color yeah. of hardened clay. And there are a lot of them. The Mesa isn't that far away either, so... No, it's not. And, and you know, um, this is probably a spoiler because I don't think you've seen this video yet. But once you have a horse, you can go really far, much faster than on yeah. foot. Yes, that's true. And that makes a big difference, actually. Yeah, but every time you hit a river or something, <gasps> you just drown the horse. <laughs> you didn't die, did you? I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, there have been some close calls that I'm kind of like, I'm not sure how I didn't die, but I'm not going to tell you if I died yet. It, you, the, the map have saved you. May the map be with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good... Uh, that's, yeah. That fits you're into my sci-fi movie. That's 
as far as I know. So why not? May the map be with you. Okay, <laughs> you, are, you are starting a new religion, right? <laughs> I, I know. I kind of thought about that as I was talking about some of the, some of that kind of stuff. Like, do I sound like a complete weirdo? <laughs> Nope. But honestly, I don't care. <laughs> no, we are having fun, and yeah. we are we are interpreting whatever we find and see because we are inside our idea as well as inside the map and the seed. Yeah. And again, this is fun because back in two thousand and eleven, we used the exact same name for the seed vanilla, mm -hmm. and it was an awesome seed, and I still use it, <laughs> still. I have that map that we saved, you mean, you know, that, that mm -hmm. one that I went all over the place. I still got that one. And I'm actually using that in my short story, Star Wars short stories too. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because it's so good. And now this seed is going to be my desert map. Yeah, this is... Forever. This, this seed is really nice, I feel. Uh, yeah. It, it, if you're not looking for a desert map, then maybe it's a little bit... Yeah, but you can do the savanna. Much, you can do the savanna map. Yeah, true. Or big areas of savanna. That's true. That's true. I, I, I'm just really happy with the seed. I, I, I will spoil uh, something that I think I alluded to. I still have not found any packed ice. Nope. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing. <laughs> but not the end of the world. Because I have something that I, I kind of do want to use for packed ice, but okay. eh, it's not the end can't of the world. Do, you can't do that by yourself, no? Do what? Do it in vanilla. Make packed ice. Ah, I hope I mean, not, because otherwise I'll feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think you need to be in the biome. So. Because on the snowy tops there are it's cold, but it's not. There's no snow blocks. Mm -hmm. There's only snow layers, so it's not cold enough, I suppose. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right, but I'm not. We, really sure. we can test. I I got all the time in the world because I'm not going to drop this because it's summer or something like that. No, <laughs> I'm. I mean, I'm going to be working on this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not counting hours either. I mean, I sat just doing my logistics today, <laughs> making that darn minecart go back and forth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, by the way, uh, in the, the episode of today, you started to make a base, and you did everything backwards. Oh, are you, t uh, <laughs> when you say I started to make a base... Uh, I, did, I can't remember what episode is what, because I'm 30 ahead, but 30. Was, where was the base at? That spawn. Okay. You would like to get yes. those darn sheep down. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yes, I do I do a lot of things backwards. <laughs> Sometimes what, I'm on... What would you have done if the sheep had come down with you? There was no grassy areas. There was no room for them. There was nothing. <laughs> oh, I would have just had the... <laughs> <laughs> I would have just had that, honestly, just wandering around in that base until I had actually built it. Down inside a corridor. Yeah. <laughs> because it was all there was to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I don't really do things in the most organized way in this series. It's kind of whatever I happen to do next. <laughs> and then you were worried that the play would see your color cheap. Just kill the bastards. How, how hard can it be when you use them? Drop them off. Oh yeah, later on. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've I've made very good use of them since. Um, yeah, it is a very very good idea doing that. I I should have kept mine actually. I'm trying to think. Uh, did somebody tell me to do that, or did I think of that on my own? I think a little of both. A little of both. I think Bongo made a tip of it. Yeah, I I that, meant that. That idea had to mature because I think it was like two weeks between his comment and your sheep. Yeah, and I meant to do it. Um, I'm actually right now. I'm struggling with something because I don't. I didn't line something up exactly the way I wanted to, but I think I know how I'm going to fix it. Um, yeah, I. Um, <laughs> it, it's funny. I, I I love getting all the comments and and people. Sort of telling me what I did wrong, but also uh, sometimes I do. You know, I don't. 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm lazy. Maybe that's what I'm doing. <laughs> no, no, no. You're not. Your brain is not lazy. And your brain will never be lazy. By the way, the comments, that is a big part of it as well. Now, in my vlog, uh, most comments are from <laughs> the nearest people, the, my friends. Yeah. And that doesn't matter. But because it's always a comment. There's always a comment. And that is the big thing that we are growing as a community within this little series. Oh, sure, sure. And you said something, and I need to repeat this because you said it <laughs> like uh, Friday's episode, I think. It's a lot about you in YouTube. Yes. It was it in the blog? Perhaps it was in the blog 41. I can't really remember when you say everything. Nah, I talk a lot. <laughs> But it is a very good thing because, okay, this episode we are talking inside now is going to be like uh, two, two weeks, two and a half. But still, we need to repeat this now and then. I'm going to repeat it in my uh, upcoming blog, uh, game blog, mm -hmm. because it is about you in YouTube. It's about the you that is watching, the you that is commenting. Mm -hmm. It's really not about us, me or you. The, the guy who's making the video. Without the use in YouTube, we would be nothing. Yeah, and, and to me, um, so like this this series, for example, um, it's, it's a custom map, it's a survival series, so you're always going to get something a little different. Yep. And I think that... Um, to some, to some people, it will be interesting to watch, uh, just to see what kind of crazy stuff happens. <laughs> some people yeah. will probably get frustrated because I think they watch uh, these videos to see somebody build something special or or do things the quote unquote right way, and yeah. I don't always do things the right way. <laughs> people sometimes <laughs> will get frustrated. <laughs> Yeah, but you do have an idea. And besides, those boring things when they run around survival just building things, they could just make a building video in creative mode that would have been just as well good. Because it's, if it's all about the build, then we don't need survival. Yeah, so I watch a lot of channels, and some there are some very entertaining people who do a survival build, for sure. Okay. Uh, or, or sorry, not a survival build. Who just play survival, do survival stuff, and I I can tell you for sure that that uh, exists. Yeah. Uh, then you know there's some some people that I don't uh, that I watch, but I don't really care what they really do. They could do anything. I will just watch them, and you know there's all sort of different levels. But I do think it's yeah. a, a part of it is the person. Oh, shoot. That's true. <laughs> While you're shooting, uh, I'm starting to watch some Swedish Minecrafters. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, that, uh, was, the, that was exciting to me, actually. Yeah, and there's one guy called the Jinx uh, that is <laughs> from my old hometown. Oh. <laughs> That's rather fun. And he knew the guys that I knew back in the days. The oh. guy who made the... Uh, um, trajectory for the ball inside pinball dreams oh. in digital illusions Ulf Mandorf we knew him both me and the jinx and oh. that is that is an awesome thing now now back to what I was my point uh, the jinx is doing survival he's doing it in snapshots at the moment so I'm not really that interested because in we know that it's all all things in snapshots don't get into the next update. Ah, uh, true. So I don't really want to know what's not coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he's a bit interesting because it's the person. In that case, it is the person. And I thought that before I knew that we knew the same person. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool, actually. That's very cool. Um, yeah. yeah, it's funny, like, um, Farm and Jagaz's mom... Uh, and and a couple other people actually live near fairly close to me. Yeah. Within less than an hour's drive. Yeah. And you know we never 
would have even known that, except we were all in a build contest once upon a time. <laughs> yeah. And that that's kind of a cool uh, coincidence as well. Yeah, and you have Yutna not far from you either. I do? Oh, yeah. You know, I always think that he's in um, Sweden because of his name. It seems nope. like Swedish, but you're right. Yeah. He is, uh, he's a little bit further, though. Quite a bit further. Yeah. Yeah. I've checked the map. I haven't heard from him, though, since I started this. I really hope... Yeah, so do I. But should I remind him or should I not? Because I want to have his expert opinion, of course. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not sure... Well, no, actually, honestly, anyone could could start this series and get into it at any point. It's not anything uh, that you... Even if you just started now, you could probably finish before I do. <laughs> before me too. Absolutely. I, as I said, I, I think I put November 30th as my... Let's call it some sort of deadline. I'm not sure. Yeah. Now I am uh, I am um, subscribing to Utilin's channel, so I have contact with him now and again. But and should we remind people about Utilin? He was the one that uh, won the Vanilla Challenge back in 2011 with his fantastic ghost of Saragasso. Absolutely. Saragasso, not Saragasso. Well, why well, I put a name there? This, yeah. And we are, both you and I, are attributing him some things. We are going to do some trail of flowers, I suppose. <laughs> oh, you know what? I need I need to more actively include something, some tribute to him, because I just realized of all of the NPC names, I don't have uh, none. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll think of something. I'll think yeah. of something. Uh, I have a I have a couple other people who comment on my videos more regularly lately that I didn't explicitly um, uh, give give like an NPC to. and I'm thinking and I thought of a way actually I thought of a way to include many many people so I don't I don't know if you this is a spoiler for you but at one point at the end of my map you're gonna go to a theater. I yeah. think you might know that already. That back in Tunis, yes? Yeah. And so I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, wait a minute. A theater is going to need a lot of people in the audience. Yeah. Because you don't want it to be a, a, a not a hit show. So I said, okay, I could <laughs> do something later, which I haven't talked about yet, uh, that will basically uh, allow me to... Um, Add more people to the map, as as NPCs sitting watching yes. the theater. That's a Absolutely. perfect way to give more credits. Absolutely. Anyone who has commented on your series should be in the theater. Well, I don't right? know. Let's not go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that would draw the attention, I suppose. I, I need to make it a little more competitive or something like that. But but yes, you get the basic idea. <laughs> Okay, let me ask you a quick question before I go storming off blindly here. Uh, I need to break hardened clay. I, I should have a pick, not a shovel, right? Yep, that's true. Yeah. Okay, good. And I use my iron because I have a lot of iron. I mean, really, a lot because I have digging out some mines. And yeah, same here. I've got a pretty good amount. I, I honestly, like, could use more. Uh, I could be more productive if I had more. However, um, I don't really need more at the moment. I've got, I've got plenty. Oh, I need to go. Where did I put this other thing? Yeah, I need. I could do. I could be like getting more, but I don't need it, so I haven't done it. Kind of thing. Can while we are on the subject of pick axes, the pick, picks at all, if you're going to mine for nether quartz, that's the most expensive place you have to go because you are going to go very far in order to get a few bits. And each one, four of them into one block. And 
64 blocks, that is a lot of quartz, and you're not getting that much. Well, you might be reading my mind, because I actually do, um, I do need more quartz, and yeah. I, w I wasn't, I'm not quite to the point where I was ready to go and get it yet. Um, I know I need it, but I don't know how much I need. And need I a lot. It doesn't matter how much you think you need. Double that at least. Mm, okay. I went down just to get some few bits. Oh, I don't need that much. And I thought, oh, this is good. I think I had six stacks of nether quartz. But before I knew it, I only had four bits, four blocks left. Some. Mm. And I am going to build a control room somewhere. I need even more. That's my third round down to the nether quartz. Hmm. And I need to go further and further away. And do take an iron pick. I even put a chest down there with an iron pick extra. <laughs> just in case I drop anything. Well, this is good. I, I just did some... I've been trying to... I've been struggling with... Um, with levels, yep. because I'm using up a lot of levels naming stuff now. I totally, oh. totally, totally, totally forgot that I can get um, <laughs> that I can that I could use an anvil to name stuff. I kept yep. thinking I need name tags for everything, which is ridiculous. <laughs> That's totally ridiculous. And if you're mining for quartz, you're getting a lot of XP. XP. Oh, good. Maybe I should do that next time. Yeah. That's the, that and coal is actually what I give, get the most. And of course, shooting some skellies now and then. I've died four times. I oh. had a dub, double creeper again. Oh. <laughs> Why do they come from all sides at once? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. And I have had two kaboom skellies, creepers, doing damage to my base. That is really annoying. Kaboom so, skellies? Yes. What does no, that mean? <laughs> creepers, I mean. Oh, okay. Like when you had it now in number 38, you was running around trying to save everything, and all you did was actually draw them to the same places they shouldn't be. Oh my gosh. That was a very entertaining... <laughs> 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 uh, I must say, and I... I think I'm going to be argued about it, but this is just as funny as the Madma series. Okay, it it's different though. I mean, I don't a lot. Sometimes uh, when when I do uh, stuff with Dave, or if I get a, a comment from someone who watches Dave's videos, they're like, "This reminds me of Madma," and I'm always shake scratching my head because I'm like, "Well, I'm not playing with a daughter." Nope. I'm, not, I'm not doing a survival story in anywhere near the same way. Nope. And so I don't always understand that comment, but... Um, it is probably true, yet, because you are you're closing in on the organized part of it, because your videos are have that magic feeling of, you know what you are doing. <laughs> is that what you call it? <laughs> And then suddenly things go wrong. I just don't let me. Have you seen Dave? Well, he's doing Madma. Oh, no, yeah. Don't go there. Oh, it's Creeper. Let's attack it. He just says, don't attack it, and then he runs forward and attacks. <laughs> it's typically wrong. <laughs> At least in survival. So it is that organized, I know what we're doing, and then he does the opposite. Mm -hmm. All the time, in each and every. And I don't know if it's. Well, it, perhaps he had written into, it, into his script or something, I don't know. But it just all feel like it. And the same is when you and Dave is playing together. Oh, yeah. Well, in, One in is a... holding back and the other is attacking. Then you change places. Yeah, we do pretty good with the Flint and Steel series. I, I really enjoy it. We have... Yeah. We have uh, so we're currently playing The Adventurers, which is a custom map that you produced with... Yes, Actually, yes. with pretty much the same crew who are, are doing this. Yep. This was CPM 4001, Jeep, Girls, Mom, and Probero. Yeah, now, Probero need... is an old, very old uh, map maker. He was with us back in 2010, 2011. And he's actually dropped out of the Minecraft. I just uh, convinced him of getting back once more. 
<laughs> okay, I wasn't sure about that. So, yeah, because I was going to say, wait, we should get him into this challenge. No, but he's... No, he has told me that that was his last appearance this time. Okay. So we'll see. But he's a very good man. Yeah, we... And we are uh, halfway done with that map. And mm -hmm. we just haven't had a chance to play oh, together. I we've, we've talked... Uh, on Skype, but we haven't been in a position where we can no. actually play. So at some point, I actually have, I think, two episodes already filmed that are just waiting to finish the series before I put any up. Yeah. Uh, because I, it w I was just getting a little bit um, frustrated of having like two episodes and then a long wait and then two. I'm just gonna save them all till, till we get them all now. I will give you a... a I'm going to mention something uh, <laughs> about what I'm doing here. I think I'm lost. <laughs> I was, that's the organized wrong. <laughs> I was heading to the Mesa biome. Right, that's, it's, and it's that's somewhere, New West. It's somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. <laughs> you just go to the Rhino Mountain, go right, and then straight. It's a little, it's a little west southwest, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But since I'm always drawn to the left when I walk, I, I, I end up west to southwest. <laughs> oh, now that's an interesting statement, actually. I don't know, but I do it in real life as well. When I'm out orienteering or just walking in a forest, I end up to the left of where I wanted to be, even oh. if I know where I am. I always end up to the left of it and have to turn right and go back the road up to the point I want to be. And still, I even know, mm. same goes for Minecraft, I still go left. <laughs> okay. Perhaps I'm a lefty guy, but I'm a right-handed one, so that's not the real so Huh. Strange, right? Oh, by the way, I probably have already told you this in the comments or something, but we were talking about the name change in Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it has already occurred. You are sitting on 1.7.4. Yes. Yes, and I'm sitting on 1.7.9. In in 1.7.6, they change it. Oh, what did what did they change? They changed so you're not calling rsmalik dot that. It is a long. Uh, yes. Instead. Yeah, it's your U U U I D, which I don't yes. I don't really understand why they did that. In fact, you can call yourself whatever you want. You can rename yourself later on, but your uh, ID will always be the same. That's why they did it. I see. So I got gotcha. you. Listen, listen. <laughs> when you say you go into bed, the last thing you do in order to set the spawn point for the player, that's totally useless. They are going to spawn where their identity is going to spawn. That is on the original spawn. We can't set spawn in vanilla. So where we spawned in this map is yes. safe, though. It will yes. be the real spawn, right? Because yes. if not, that's going to really screw everything up. I'm going to test this with one of my other accounts, just to make sure. But that's how I interpret it. Okay. So you don't have to go to bed in order to, and you don't have to, well, to clean up the XP and stuff because they are not going to get your stuff. Oh, so even if I sleep in that bed, they're still going to spawn within that 20 block area. Yes. They're not going to spawn exactly in the bed? No. See, I knew that was true for multiplayer, but I thought it would still work for single player, though. I'm going to test this and get back to you on it. Okay. <laughs> after you stopped, you had this one, I suppose. <laughs> well, so so that UUID, it's doing something weird because I, I share on a uh, computer uh, yes. with multiple accounts on it, and for some reason, uh, the profile is always have the default login as my son's account. I think it's because his his name starts with a C and mine starts with an R, so his comes first in the alphabet, maybe. But sometimes mine doesn't work. It actually forces me to, even though I selected from the drop-down, it forces me to put in the Locking. email address, yeah. and it's so annoying. Yes, but have you just changed skin before that? Mm, probably. <laughs> yes, and that may be the reason why you have to log in again. 
Oh, that makes no sense to me, though. No, not, not for me, but when I changed between the Minecraft normal and the Minecraft Star Wars, I changed skin. It's the only way, the only time that I change skin. Mm. And every time I do that, I have to log in the hard way. Hmm. Just not choosing my profile. And that's annoying. But last time I did it, it worked normally. Okay. So hopefully they are... But then again, I'm on 1.7.9, so perhaps they've changed it again. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. 